Okay, here we go. So, You're yeah. going to tie this okay, on yeah. there because I'm not sure what you want to right, tie yeah, it on. Yeah, okay. We're going to hold Just this. Just lead, uh, lead, lead, lead it over towards me here. Okay. Um, I was thinking of tying it in such a way that we could pull this off afterwards. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so this is going to sit up over the top of the lip there. Uh, we just want to make sure that the wires don't get damaged. Because that will probably bounce around a bit. Uh, do we have some more tape? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I just want to. <coughs> yeah, get all the wind. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, you guessed my secret. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. Day before, maybe. Where are they from? Grand Prairie. Okay, that should be good. good. All right. So, under the ladder, yes.
Oh shit. We want to get the cable on the other side. Okay. Uh, I can... So we'll take this off here and we'll uh, I'll just take the ladder down. Hang on, that's all right. I'll just take the ladder down here. Yeah, that's enough. We'll just uh, slide the ladder out. Okay, so we're gonna start pulling this guy up. You wanna hang on to that pat? Okay, and I'll just guide her up, or somebody can. See, if you wanna come around on this side, yeah, yeah. I'll start to climb the ladder, yeah. slide it up, and I'll uh, give me some slack on the. Just watch you don't step on your rope and undo your knot. Right. Uh, no, it won't come undone. Not the way I've got it tied. Okay, here you Take it over the edge, over top of that angle line. Okay, there. Is it, hooked, is it hooked over? Take that one there around. You want to get the rope in underneath? Oh, okay. Okay, you take this rope inside and closer. Now, can you pull on that uh, the steel cable? Pull it in. Okay, oh shit. You don't want it through here. You don't want it through here. You don't want it through there? No. Take it right around the uh, comp yeah, shell. Yeah, we got some tangles here. I don't know what happens here. This one here is underneath. Yeah, we got to get. Didn't want to let go of that one there. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, now take the two around to the back. Yeah. Pull it tight. 
As tight as you can get it. Okay. Now this guy. Okay, then take the second steel pipe. Oh shit, we lost it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's okay, we're gonna work on that. Yeah. Yeah, we got tangled around the cable here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah just hold on a second here. Oh yeah. No, it's this oh, yeah, steel one you want. You want to go through this one? No, no, no. We want it through here. We might put it in there after, but not to begin with. Okay. Yeah. Pull through more. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that should be. We just have a look underneath. Top. I gotta come down here. I can. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, we want it up higher because it's not quite. It's not quite clear enough. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's probably why uh, you can't pull it because. the top one at the back as tight as we can get it. Okay. You take the ladder over there? No, uh, it's okay. So what we want now is a turnbuckle in here. Take this one. You got it, Ron? Yeah. Um, you sure you don't need the ladder up there? No, but I need this. We've got to take these. I need a turnbuckle. I mean, uh, a clamp. Table clamp. Okay. Can you hold on to this one? Yeah, one Over here. We want it as high as possible. And we're going to go and then stick it. Actually, then we'll tie the two together. And then we can pull it down from here. Uh, so we need that. Wow. Yeah, okay. You just hold on. Can you hold these two? Okay, let me just have a look see what's happening out front. A little higher, right? And the right there. Okay, that's good. Why is this ca snagged on that set. There you go. There, that's good, that's got it, that's got it. Okay, now we take our clamp. Do we have a wrench? Oh, I don't have a wrench. Uh you know, we go grab one. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfectos. Tiny little. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah.
and then we'll slide this up as high as we can get it tighten them off and then uh, okay slide this up actually um, Let's have a look at the front. That's looking pretty good. Uh, you might need a ladder eight or nothing. Well, Ray just standing on it right yeah. now. Um, it's okay, just a sec. We can always redo this one afterwards. I'll just tie that one off. Take my Can you slip those through? Oh, you don't. Okay, yes. Can you pull on that as snug as you can? Yep. And we'll get the second set of cables in. Okay, we'll take in the second set of cables. Uh, 12 point should be good now. Take this one on the other end. I got the one end here. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Uh, we don't fall off this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a. Jiggery, jiggery, pokery business here. Um, okay, we'll do. If you can hold those two together again, do the same thing with the second, second uh, clamp. Uh, I don't think so. No, we won't. That ne won't be necessary because the weight of the panel will. We'll uh, hold it in. Oh. So they unhook those. That's the support cables to this unit to keep it sturdy. Hey? I guess so. Jeez. Yeah. Whatever they took that out for. Like it with a rock and yeah. oh, more shotguns. Okay, we'll slip that one there off. Make it as tight as we can. Uh, and pull that one, the other one in there. Yeah. Center it up. Okay. Just keep push, slipping it up if you can. Okay, and then what we'll do now is we'll get the ladder over here and we'll... Okay, we should be good to go there now. That should be good. Don't think that's going in any place. And so we'll take the ladder. We're going to move the ladder around to the other side so I can just tighten up those. So what about this rope? Yeah, just hang on to keep that sort of snug. Just so in case it slips off the ledge. Yeah, yeah. Must have stuck up the cables. Yeah, that looks pretty good from here. Yeah. Yeah. Move the ladder around the other side. In fact, we could probably shorten it up even. Yeah, that's good. Good old.
Yeah, yeah okay, that's great, Eric. You do that. I'll get out of the way. You might want to put it right here. Yeah, uh, fairly close, yeah. Uh, bring it right around over here. Right away from there. Uh, right you can uh, slide it up yeah. underneath there. Uh, I'm going to have to loosen off the cable and slide it up there, so we don't want this to be too tight. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if you can just hold the ladder there for me. Thank you. Yeah, I do. That's true. And then just turn the turnbuckle and the Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So well, we're going to diesel down there. These ones are pretty big though. Well, this will be okay now because we can, uh, once I've got this clamped in place, we can uh, take these two cables and wrap them down around here and use it as a pulley to just to make sure it's safe. There's a hole in the wall up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, this is going to be high up. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm just going to bounce this ladder up. Get a little table there. Good. <laughs> okay, so we can uh, bring this pair down and uh, I'll tighten up that second clamp similarly. I don't need know if that's necessary because of it's um if it slips at all it'll go ahead and tighten up on its own I think. Yeah. Yeah we could take it up a little higher. Probably right. Almost level with that uh, one seam, eh? See so if we get up another six inches. Okay, I'm just going to go up here another six inches. Three point one, point two, point six watts, or amps, point six amps. Oh, it's pretty foggy out there. Oh, good. Things are getting wet. Yeah, well, well, if all goes well, we should be ready to leave in about 15 minutes. Uh, if there's anything else you need to load up in the meantime, plug that in there, please. Oh, go wrong, oh. <laughs> it's all gone, eh?
What do I think this is? A homo? <sighs> Okay, so I'll have one of you guys read this. Just a minute here, let me clear something else before I do that. Okay, so you see the uh, needle that's at reading on the 0 to 6 dial. It's coming through at about a 4. Okay, on the bottom dial. 0, 6, 10. Yeah, so it's at about th just over 3. Okay. Oh, on the, yeah. One, yeah, on two, the three, black scale. Yeah, you yeah okay. So what I want to do now is, is I want to go to oh, shit. here. And it's way too high, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got to go ahead and drop the level. This is transmitting on VHF. Yeah. Well, you want to hold the light and six? Uh, pardon? You need to hold the light? Uh, yeah, I need my screwdriver. Again. Well, here it is, okay. Yeah, we have to get into our special little tray here. Well, you want it at six? Or? Uh, well, you want it down to three. Three? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, to... Three on that uh, black scale, which is yeah. about mid midpoint. Okay, uh, it's going to be receive link one receive. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, hang on! I have not transmitting yet. Uh, I need somebody else to somebody else's hands to do this. Um, if uh, Reg, you can come around over here. I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. So, or can, can you operate this okay? I never operated one, but the okay. push a button. Yeah. Okay. So you want to hit your push to talk like that and press digit one and just hold it. Link one receive. Go ahead. Oh, he's not transmitting the tone yet. And press one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hold it there. Hold it there. Five right now. Still five. Down to two, three, oh, past it. About there, just a bit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Then. Okay, great. Now I get you to do same thing again. I just have to change frequencies here. Um, oops. Right. Hang on. Four. 
Hi, yeah, it's Check something. Check something else. That's strange because four, seven, eight, five, zero, one, three to five and seven on. Seven is on, yes. That's strange. What happened? Just one sec here. Uh, V7 Echo November India V6 FV. Hello, Ron. How is it doing up there? Snowing? Uh, not too bad. Which uh, uh, frequency are you coming in on? I'm coming in on 3 4 uh, on your 9 4 machine. Uh, you're coming in on 9 4? Okay, have you got your end up? Shit. I tried to put the antenna up and I couldn't. Um, so if you guys, just a sec here, I, I'm still up here, so maybe I can do a test. Uh, so you, have you got the UHF running? Uh, QSL, I'm just in the process of setting up my levels right now. Setting up the levels. Setting up levels. Okay, I'm just uh, just a sec here. I'm going to uh, switch over to my. Um, I'll switch over to my handheld here. Okay, we're transmitting out there now.
Okay. Okay. I could you do, do the same thing? Yep. Uh, key the mic and press digit one. one. Yeah. <coughs> this time I have to set the transmit level. <coughs> Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Cool. No, no. Transmitting. There it is. There we go. Six right now, five. There we go. Okay. Uh, just one sec, I'll get you to do it again here. Go ahead again. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, perfect. And I'll just make sure I didn't screw up the other direction. Uh, testing one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's me. Oh, yeah, that's me there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just finished bringing up the uh, telemetry via the link frequency. So I think we're good to go. I could do a quick power test, but I don't. Well, we'll wait and see when Cliff comes on. Um, Is that Ebola? Ebola. No, well, I, I was coming on the Ebola frequency, oh, yes. but he hasn't got his end going. He had a problem with his antenna, but he's still on the site. So he's going to use his radio to transmit directly into here, see if we can copy it. Well, that's just the wind, and you can't see anything now. No. You can't see the valley. Okay, so we'll start to get loading stuff up here. And, um... the cover for this? Pardon? Where's the cover for this? Yeah, it's right behind you. You should recognize it. So we could use a couple of these... We could use a couple of these tiles too. They're maybe more rigid. Could use these tiles on there too, uh, Eric. They might be a little more rigid. Well, I don't know. Then we'll put another one on and. Uh, So is this thing working or are you going to take it down? We'll take that back down. 
Um, I can go into one of these bags here. That's a, a charger that can um, go into one of these bags too. Uh, this is a camera bag. Take your fancy pants cover and we'll put it on top of the radio. Yeah. 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 What else? Anything else in here? Okay. Um, oh. I was looking at V6 Fox Victor. Hey Ron, did you get the levels done or are you still working on them? Uh, no, I, are you coming on, on VHF? Yeah, that's VHF. You want me to try UHF? Uh, QSL. Uh, you're coming in full quieting. How do you copy me? Yeah, full quieting, full quieting. Beautiful, beautiful signal. So, uh, yeah, and this is just a rubber duck antenna inside my Jeep on a handheld. <coughs> okay, well, that sounds terrific. So, the setup here is um, I, I haven't got the duplex system set up here. We're just running with one of these Harris radios. Um, I had built up this uh, power saver circuit, but uh, something blew on it, so so we don't have the power circuit in. But uh, we do, we did manage to install this um, uh, 300 watt uh, solar panel in addition to the other three we had. For sure. Now uh, we've just got the three element uh, UHF Yagi uh, facing towards you right in the tower or just off one leg of the tower. It's entirely possible that it's going to get uh, uh, snowed in or whatever, but um, we've got a fair bit of fade margin by the sound of things. Once we get all this route, yeah, well, yeah, if it's uh, phasing coming your way, that would be, uh, that would be my hand. Okay, great. Yeah, I think I've got things balanced pretty well. We'll take that. Yeah. And um, I did have provisions to put in a uh, uh, full duplex on UHF here, but um, considering that we don't have the battery server saver circuit in, uh, 
we'll leave it off. And besides, it's just one more complication. We're starting to get some socked in weather here. It's starting to rain, so I think it's just about time we were pulling out. Um, and also, we did not get the uh, uh, solar panel up on the face of the microwave dish is what had we planned, but uh, there's an old uh, comm shell just to the west side of uh, the, um, the main building here, which had a spot for a solar panel, so we were able to go and mount it up on there. So we'll see how that works as far as staying clear of snow and so on. Okay, oh, that sounds really good, Ross. Sounds really good. Okay, I will let you go. I'm going to head down the mountain. It's raining cats and dogs here, and very foggy and whatnot, and very windy. So uh, we've got everything buttoned up here, and uh, wait till the next trip coming up here, and then uh, we'll get an antenna and face it towards you, and uh, all we have to do is plug a coax into the uh, duplexer. Yeah, okay, QSL sounds good, and um, I think that the problem we were having here on this VHF radio was the squelch was going open uh, on just uh, noise spikes or whatever, so I've tightened up the squelch here a bit, um, so hopefully that'll eliminate that issue. Yeah, okay, okay, sounds good. Boy, you're strong here. Well, how many watts are you putting out with that thing? Uh, probably about 10. Okay, that's, uh, that's probably what's going to be coming out of the UHF. Uh, no, it won't be, it'll be 5. There'll be 5 watts coming towards you there, so that should be, that should be plenty with a, with a good beam. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, you're coming in loud and clear. So, um, anyway, we'll get mobile here, and uh, you can unplug that, yep. And um, talk to you again soon. Okay, drive careful on the way down, guys, and uh, good job, good work, guys, and we'll, we'll definitely talk to you on the way. QSL, Cliff, thanks for all your help, too. V6, uh, Fox, Victor, Portable, V7. Uh, V7 WHK, V6 Fox Victor. Okay, what frequency are you coming in on? Are you coming in on VHF or UHF? Are you coming in on, whoops, are you coming in on VHF or UHF? Okay, yeah, there is a bit, um, you're kind of uh, low audio and there is a bit of hiss on your signal. Are, are you just on a mobile whip or? Okay, well I think that's pretty decent. <laughs> so that was um... Uh, he's out of Ebola, and he's just on his mobile. So, there's all things considered, we can't be complaining too much there. Um, yeah, so this is about as good as we can expect it. Yeah, I think so. Beast of burden, yes. I'm not sure how that, where does that, how does that go into side by side on the seat? Uh, like that? Yeah, um, it'll uh, just put it in on the on the floor in the side by side and I'll, I'll, ah. Uh, okay, because there's all those bags on the, in the footwell. Okay, well, you can just move them out of the way for the, uh, actually, yeah, you could just set it right outside the, um, the door and I'll get to it here right away. Okay. So what else do we need? We could, I guess we can leave this up here, it doesn't really matter. 
destructions for the that. Um, we didn't have anything else to wrap around those batteries. Eh? Yes. Actually, it's hit this on the back side. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I guess it 